Hola amigos, ¿cómo estás? So, I have some pretty exciting news to share. I'm now working on my second thesis at the Fluid Interfaces Group at MIT Media Lab, Massachusetts. So, um, in this video, I want to talk about um, how I landed this internship and what I'm going to be working on and how my experience uh, landing this second thesis was different from my first one. So, first of all, let me just give you a very brief overview of what I'm working on. So, I'm working with brain-computer interfaces and uh, simply put, as the name suggests, it's a way to communicate with a computer through brain signals only. So, uh, that is a pretty exciting uh, thing. It's very new for me. So, uh, excited to work on it. And I've already started working remotely. In specific, I'm going to be working on effective brain computer interfaces. And when you add the word effective, it means that it has something to do with emotional states and moods. So, uh, that's about my work and coming to how I landed this internship this research internship. I already have uh, gotten some questions about this, about whether there was a formal application process, how did I uh, land it and what was the timeline. So uh, first of all, there was no formal application process and the way I landed it was through cold emailing only. So I sent out an email to uh, the professor uh, who leads fluid interfaces. I sent out an email to the administrative assistant at the group and one of them uh, circulated this email within the doctoral candidates at the lab. And one of them got in touch with me saying, hey, Shreyas, are you still interested? Let's set up a call, which is what we did. The first call with a PhD student is uh, usually a very general chat about my past experience, uh, my research interests, and why I want to get into the field, in my case, uh, human-computer interaction. And... Uh, it also involves them telling uh, me about work at the lab, uh, about their work uh, in particular. So once that is done, I was expecting some kind of a task uh, and a second call. So the task would be something like read a couple of research papers and discuss them on the next call. Or now that you have a general idea about their work, uh, write some proposals, something like that. But uh, in my case, none of this happened. Uh, the doctoral candidate just talked to the professor who said that uh, I would be a good addition as a research intern. And uh, that was when I landed the internship. As far as the timeline is concerned, uh, I think all of this was confirmed in sometime around October, uh, October or November. And since then, uh, there's been a lot of stuff that has been going on, which includes uh, an MIT ID being created for me. So... I now have an mit.edu email as well. So the, the ID is created and uh, there's stuff for the visa as well. Right now I'm working remotely, but I'm hoping that I can uh, go to the lab in person at some point and uh, get that experience as well. So uh, there's a long visa process about which I'll probably make another video. Uh, mine is still going on. So uh, that's about the timeline and now coming to how uh, landing the second internship was different from my first one. First of all, I think that having a first uh, research internship itself influences uh, your chances of getting a second one. So uh, because I had one, my chances were kind of better. The second very important thing was uh, for me was the fact that the professor that I work, work with at the Exertion Games Lab at Monash University, which is where I did my first thesis. That professor has actually worked at the MIT Media Lab. So researchers, professors at the Media Lab uh, know this professor, which was uh, a good thing for me. The other thing is uh, that my story with the Media Lab goes uh, way back. So even for my first thesis, I was uh, trying to get it at the Media Lab itself. And uh, it so happened that at that time, MIT was not accepting uh, visiting student interns. So because of the COVID stuff. So I couldn't get in at that time. Uh, so the email that I sent now was kind of an add-on email to the first email that I had sent saying, hey, uh, 
it wasn't possible earlier, but is there a chance that, that I could do it now? Um, and I think uh, that helps as well. Um, for my first internship, uh, if you've watched the video, I, I mentioned that I sent out, a, uh, sent out tons of emails, whereas in this case, there were uh, fewer emails that I sent out. Uh, one important thing to remember, once again, is uh, to make sure that in your email you mention uh, your past experiences that align the best with the work going on at the lab. Uh, of course, if you don't have any uh, uh, any past uh, experiences which align very well, that's fine. But if you do, then make sure to mention them in that way. And the other thing is, until your uh, your opportunity is confirmed, Keep sending out emails to as many professors as possible. What that does is, uh, number one, you're not putting the process on hold. And number two, just looking for this thesis itself expands your network, which is which is a pretty good thing. So uh, you should be doing that. So keep sending out emails and don't worry too much about uh, no replies or rejections. It happens to a lot of people. Of course, there are people uh, for whom it could just, everything could just work out correctly. The, their stars are aligned and uh, they just land the internship sooner. But keep sending out email, don't lose hope. And that's, that's the advice that I have for you right now. If you have more questions, what I'm going to do is put a Google form link in the description. You can add your questions there and I'll make another video addressing those questions. What you can also now do is if there are things that I haven't talked about in my video or you want to talk to me, you can set up a one on one meet with me using the other link in the description. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, do hit the like button. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you in some other video. Adios.